Hello friends! Welcome to another video about pins and inks. Okay, not about pins at all. About inks. So, <laughs> this is going to be what I hope is a quick video um, showing my current 10 favorite inks and two honorable mentions. And um, I kind of forced myself to pick 10, if I'm honest, because it seemed like a good number. So that's why we're doing 10. Um, and look, shut up and just get going. Okay. So these are in an order, chromatic, <laughs> rainbowy, in other words. They are not in an order of, I like this the best. Great. So, the first one I'm showing is Pilot Iroshizuku Tsutsuji. Um, this is the first, like, expensive bottle of ink I got. And I've used a fair amount of it. Here is the card. Let's do a little swatch. Not that we need to, but we want to. Look at that bubble on top. Let's move you down so you can see that bubble. Oh my gosh, it actually made a pop noise. Okay. How do we want to do this? Let's just do whatever you want, Maria. Okay. That's good. I like that. Leave it, Maria. Okay. I have water over here. Let me put it so you can see it. Okay. Because otherwise, then it's like, is she, like, drinking something? What is she doing? Not that she sound like that, except for in my mind. Apparently. All right. So pretty. I love this ink. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Sometimes I'm thinking, do I really love it? And then, yes. So how did I pick these inks? I went through my coloring cards, these things, and um, I, I, some of them I was just like, oh, that color is so good, and I was drawn to them. And then some of them, and then I also went through uh, old journals and just looked at the inks I had used there to see like did I did some of them speak me to me more when I was writing with them this one the answer is yes to both so first up Tsutsuji um and by the way this is this notebook is in the nebula note that I did all of my 30 inks 30 days in so this is Tomoe River paper here next we have a newer ink this is Colorverse Opportunity. Um, I really like this one. So there were basically three that I was having a tough time choosing between. This one, KWZ Gummy Berry and um, Yamabudo. It's kind of funny that I didn't pick Yamabudo or Gummy Berry, but this one I was just like feeling when I was sitting down. You know, I... On another day, it might have been one of the other two. But I like this. It's a nice magenta. Um, it writes well. And I can't wait to use it again. So. Is that? And this is a, this came in that set with Spirit, which is that uh, sort of emerald green color. Maybe you might call it teal, but I wouldn't. Um, anyway, and I also like that color quite a bit. Did it make the list? No. 
We'll see. Now, here's the question. Do I go here or here? Here, 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 here. Next up, also a newer one, Birmingham Pins California Raisin. Did I buy this because it had the name California in it? No, but it didn't hurt that it had the name California in it. I'm going to go here. Raisins aren't really this color. Um, but I'm not going to let that affect my opinion of this pretty ink. It's a dusty purple. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Hopefully, most of them will be dry by the time we get to the end. So, California Raisin, A++++. Come on. Will they fit so you can see them all? Maybe. Next up, another new ink. This one... What's funny is I was going to say most of these inks are not new, but actually it's pretty well, uh, pretty split. Uh, some of my really new inks I felt like, I don't know you well enough to say that you're my favorite. But this one, I mean, this is one of my favorite colors, so that's where we are. And it's in the pen that I'm using today. Oh, I love you. Look at you. You're so beautiful. What's what's fun is like if you look at this water, it's still so pink despite me having put well, I suppose the purple would be pinky. But this hardly changed it. Um I this ink writes nicely, it shades nicely. It does other things nicely too. Just kidding, I can't back that up. All right. So, Pure Pins Perth Kernel Cove. This was kind of the ink that started it all, maybe for a lot of people. Emerald Chavor. So they've changed the bottle. Also, my little wax is cracking. They've changed the bottle on this from when I first got it, just slightly. I think they added a sticker that has the name on it. And the new sticker, I think, says Emerald de Chavor, which would be like the French one. But I'm, I feel fairly certain that this did not say that. Um, there's no other markings, just the 1670 wax. Um, we don't need it, though. We know what this is. Beautiful, that's what it is. But this is the ink that kind of was like, oh, uh, I need fancy inks, thanks. So I lied when I said Tsutsuji was my first uh, bottle of expensive ink. No, that was, in fact, Emerald of Shore. I don't know how I could have forgotten that. Clearly I did, and I am a failure. Um... Oh, there, we finally changed the watercolor. I think did it. And we're going to write. Try and get quickly before all the glitter set, are, set, set holes. Good job, Maria. I don't remember if this is Jay or Jacques Airbon, but we all know who it is, right? Oh my gosh, Maria. I 
I can't. So I put this ink in my Twisby VAC 700R Iris um, when I first got that pen, like as a, like, okay, we got this pen to put a glitter ink. Let's go. Let's go. And um, it did not disappoint. I had a, like, transcendental writing experience. It was so good. Um, so good. Love it. Love it. And this is missing a fair amount of ink, too. I wonder if I sent a sample of that to my friend. If I sent you a sample, let me know. And then, next up, another new ink. New-ish. But I've used a fair amount of this already. Sailor California. Did I buy this because it's called California? No. If it was a color I didn't like, I wouldn't have bought it. But I love this color. And so there are people who are disappointed because they, there are so many colors that could be California. I'd actually argue that this kind of orangey color right here is the color of the California poppy. And to me, that is like more the color of California than whatever this is. Um, however, uh, I am happier having an ink this color. And I, okay, let's, I'm going to take it back. I would have felt compelled to buy a color called California. There, I said it. Sailor inks smell funny. I'm sure it has to do with an anti-mold agent that they put in there. Ooh, I didn't shake it. I haven't been shaking any of these, Ooh, except for the Chavor. Good job, Maria. Don't let me forget. Shake the ink. Just kidding. Don't tell me forever. Okay. So there's one brand that appears in, in this a lot, and that surprised me, but then should it? This glass pen is just like dropping the ink down like, whoo. It's like, yo, heard you like ink. I do, thanks. Ugh, stanky. I love this color. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's a teal color in case you think it looks blue. There's there's enough green in it. And, mm, mm. Yeah. Um. Next up, another Sailor ink and another Sailor State ink. This one is Michigan. And story goes, I bought this for my friend who likes blue inks. Oh, hi, friend. My friend Peter. Hi, Peter. He doesn't like being called Peter. Sorry. Hello, Pete. Um, so I bought this. It's got a little mitten on it for Pete because he likes blue and it's called Michigan. Which, um, he, uh, I mean, he's lives in Long Beach, but, you know, Long Beach, Michigan. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, uh, but then I saw the color of it and I thought, wow, that's a beautiful blue. So I got some for myself. Because blue is my favorite color, and this is kind of like a thalo blue, which is one of my favorite blues. So, Sailor Michigan. I adore it. Oh, I didn't put you back in the box. Come back. Go in there. You go in here. By the way, I picked my favorites. I decided could only be inks that I owned a bottle of because it's hardly a favorite if I don't own a bottle, right? Hey, what are you? Where did you come from? Let's not worry about it right now. It's fine. We're not worrying. It's fine. Oh, it's probably was water and then other water and it's okay. Now, we're on eight, eight now, right? Seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, eight. Eight is enough. It's not though. We went to 10. 
Um, so <laughs> I need to have lunch. Uh, I really like uh, Troublemaker Abalone. Uh, it, what's funny is I thought I was going to love Milky Ocean, and I do like it quite a lot, but it turns out of the two, it's Abalone. Uh, maybe because Abalone, I don't know. Look. Shut up. Just kidding. I don't know. Like let's, let's turn you upside down and give you a nice little rollick. I think what's interesting is you can tell from these inks, I think, just the way they look when you put them on the paper, if they're more watery or more lubricated. This is more watery. It's typically really watery ink sh shade well. And you can, I would say you can see that here with the California Raisin, the Perth Kernel Cove, already with Abalone. And you notice like this is not putting down like that thick line because watery inks don't stick as well to the glass pens as the inks that are more lubricated. Like the Tsutsuji California, Michigan uh, Emerald of Shabor where the writing is still drying I think. This is too tall. I was like, where did I put this swatch card? It's right there, girl. And then, number nine, number number nine, is another sailor ink. You know what's funny is I only own four sailor inks. One of them I kind of regret. I felt like I needed a green. I got this one from them and I don't love it. It's not their fault, it's me, I'm wrong. Um, so this is Sailor 224, Sailor Ink Studio 224. Um, this is basically gray, as is this. If you look at the writing, it's maybe a blue-gray, but it's basically gray. So I don't know what's going on on this card, because this is green, that's purple. This is gray. And that's how you learn your colors with Maria. Um. <laughs> okay. I didn't make that long enough. Let's, let's cross those a tiny bit. Do you like that? So as it dries, you see it went down gray. As it's drying, you're seeing green and pink. It's beautiful, but in the writing, it's gray. No complaints. Love it. Still a favorite. And then it comes with this little thing. Is this the gotta catch them all? Oh, it's not. It's just tell me how to well, go away. It also comes with this thing. Do I keep them even though I'm, I don't need them? Yes, because I feel compelled to. Probably something I could talk to a trained professional about, but it's not bothering me enough to. So, Daily Studio 224. And then the last of my favorites, which I'm going to admit was the first one I thought of. So if I have an all-time favorite, it's possibly this one. That's Diamine Earl Grey. I own another bottle of this because I thought it was going to be um, limited edition. It's not. I've used a fair amount of this. And this is an ink that if you are an artist is super fun to play with. 
the number of colors in this, like we looked at the chromatography in 30 inks. Oops. The number of colors is pretty uh, amazing. So now, what are my two runners up? Honorable mentions. So my honorable mentions are just like inks of the moment, so to speak. So these are two inks that um, I think I'm going to, I got them as samples. I'm just cleaning off the bottle a little. I got them as samples and I think I'm going to order a, um, a full bottle of them. And that kind of says a lot because I'm trying to not... There's actually three inks in that category that I'm buying. But these are the two that I thought of when I thought of honorable mentions. So that's where we're at. So... Oh, the first one is Pannonia Abigail. Why this one? Because this pink is so amazing. And right now I just, I love it. It's a neon pink. I don't have, um, it is super bright in a different way from Tsutsuji. So this is a fluorescent pigment. Um, it was really legible. Um, and I enjoyed writing with it. Okay, good. I managed to get some on there. Hope I got the two ends. Yeah, in the right place. Oh, yeah, we go. Um, so I love that. And then, oh, this is so amazing. I hope you've enjoyed watching this dry because I haven't gotten to enjoy that. But I'll watch this video after I put it up and then we'll be excited. But like here, well, afterwards we'll look at the cards. And then the other one is the Jacques Herbin Shogun. Woo. So shake it up. There is shimmer in here. And I don't think there's actually that much shimmer left in here. That's okay. Um, so this was just the biggest surprise to me that I enjoyed writing with. Because I don't think of myself as like enjoying basically black ink anymore. Even though I have like a freaking four ounce bottle of it. Good job. Um, oops. But I really liked this. This, this stood out in my 30 Inks adventures. Um, as well behaved. Just everything about it was just lovely. Um, and this swatch is going to be better than the one on my card, actually, because if you remember, I didn't realize when I made the card that it was shimmery. So, what I should do is pause this and come back. And also, like, try... Yeah, there, I got water on the bottom of this. Look at that gold sheen on Tsutsuji. Yeah, that's so neat. I don't think I usually see that when I write with it. Same with uh, Emerald of Shavor. I'll see this shimmer. This looks like a face to me. Um, but I don't usually see the sheen. And this Sailor California, interestingly, has sheen. Um, it's like a dark burgundy or black sheen, which I never never seen in the writing um 
So I like seeing the swatches because the swatches are fun, but more important is seeing what the writing looks like because that's what you're going to see on your paper. So the funny thing is like these two are really similar. I would say that they're like twinsies, but like not. So this to me, the writing, you'll get the occasional pink in there and this one is like more like you get the blue so they're like the same but this is more purpley than that which is absolutely a word I think something that you can see that most of these have in common is they all shade pretty well with the exception maybe of this uh, emerald of Shavor. I do like oh and Tsutsuji doesn't a ton um but I do like that. It makes it more interesting to me when I'm writing if something is going on. So, should we pause and come back? What do you think, friends? I don't know if I've got time for that. I gotta have lunch. My stomach is like, I am surprised we've made it this long into the video without it talking to you. So, Ooh. Um, we'll put this aside for a mo and look at the swatch cards. And I'll give this a little time to dry. We're on a different table today. This is the one that um, we're sitting in the place where my sewing machine usually is. So... thought this collection here was pretty funny because they're like the same color. <laughs> so I can't split them up. Um, so here's my top 10 as of right now. Um, it will change. I will fall in love with a new ink or... I will revisit or get to know some of my other uh, inks better. So Yamabudo may make an appearance because I do love the Iro Shizuku inks. They have very nice um, qualities to them um, with just, uh, they write so nicely. I was looking at uh, one of my journals and one of the inks and I thought, oh, this one is so pretty. Maybe this one. And I realized it was a it was a Tsukiyo, uh, which is another Roshizuku ink. If you're not aware, it's kind of a blue black. People call it blue black, but to me, it's just a, a, a blue, like a darker blue. So here's all the inks. I gosh, I love how this card looks, even though it got all messed up. I don't love how I did that, but it's blue heavy. Why? Because blue is my favorite color. Okay, so. It's fine. And in fact, it's tealy blue heavy. But I do love my grays. So these, I would say we have three grays. Three in the pink magenta purple range. And four blues. And that doesn't surprise me at all. It's just lovely. But when I did have one week where I had, like, they were all, like, these desaturated colors. And I thought, okay, I need to ink up something bright. I do like the desaturated colors, but I, I like the bright ones, too. And then, of course, our two honorable mentions, Abigail and Shogun. Now, it's been approximately a minute. Um, I had a lot of fun, by the way, doing this. So, I recommend taking a look at your inks and seeing what are your favorites and why because some of these I probably picked for the color but some of them were absolutely about the writing experience so this is closer to dry you can see the shimmer on this Shogun now you can sort of see some of the complexity of Earl Grey definitely the complexido complexidoni yep of abalone uh oh gosh anyway and look at that emerald of shavor 
I still see your face. All right, hope you have enjoyed a look at my current top 10 plus two honorable mention favorite inks. Have a wonderful day. Bye.